Hello Commander, this is a very brief update on some news in Elite Copilot, my routing tool for Elite Dangerous, which now has an in-game overlay that will display your next jump, so you do not have to rely on the speech synthesis, which for people who don't have third-party voices installed, I understand that the Windows speech synthesis itself is often hard to understand, and many have asked for a, an in-game overlay to display the next jump in text within Elite Dangerous, which I have now implemented. It's going to go live in the first version, probably still some glitches there maybe, and not ideal um, as far as uh, usage goes, but I think it gets the job done for now, and I'm looking forward to feedback from you guys how to improve it more. So as you can see, I'm right now in my Sidewinder, my little test Sidewinder, and I have a little route plotted. Let me switch to the Copilot real quick so you can see the route. So this is the route, and um, I just went here, so I'm going to just reverse the route. Uh, actually, that was the wrong. Okay, so... That was the wrong button, so I'm going to say go back. I came to Formula 8 and went to Neto, and now I'm going to click go back to reverse the route. New Set route to have it active. And as you heard, it says the next jump is Wolf 1509, six light years. And as you can see in the top left here, this is also displayed over Elite Copilot in the window right there, which um, I can also reposition that window. I click on this little button here and the window turns into a, into a movable window. I can, for example, put that down here, click the button again, and it's only Elite Dangerous again. In case you have Elite Dangerous running in full screen mode and not borderless window mode, you will need to change that by going to Settings, Options, Graphics, and set it to borderless mode like I have here. You can also set it in Windows, but I usually run borderless. Click Apply, and you will have the window will be able to display on top. If you run in full screen mode, you will not be able to get the overlay working because that would require me to do programming that right now I can't I can't do with the platform that I chose for the tool. So let's show this in action real quick. So my next jump is Wolf 1509. Let me select that real quick. It says 6.9 light years, which is probably approximately correct. They're not always perfect. 6.86, that's good enough. So let's change the hyperdrive right here. And we're jumping, and it should detect the jump in a moment. Next jump is seven light years to thirty-one aquilae. There we go. It announced the next jump, and the overlay displays in the lower window too. So thirty-one aquilae, seven point seven light years. There it is. Let's lock that destination. Line her up. Let the uh, ship cool down a little bit so we don't overheat. We're kind of close to the sun there. And now we can jump. Let me show you the ability to reposition the window real quick again. I'm just going to Alt-Tab, click on her here, and move it like to the lower left there. And there we go. Just remember you have to click the little button to the left of the text first. Next jump is seven light years to lead. And there we go. Last jump's coming up. Turn away from the sun here. Lay it in seven point seven light years. Let's see like that. Bring that up. It's right here. Seven point six nine, that's correct. It's slightly overheating, but that should still be okay. Ships can usually take up to 150% heat without damage. Entering system Leaden. Remaining distance unknown. And there we go. You have arrived at your destination. Routing. We've arrived at the destination. Tool shows last jump, zero light years left, so we're there. I could now tab out, go back to the co-pilot, and for example, reverse the route like this, new and set the new route, seven light years to 31 and it will display the next jump again. So this concludes a little update. I hope you liked it. 
If you're interested in the tool, just join the Facebook page that I am um, going to list in the comments. If you need more info about the functionalities or the previous video from a previous version that will show you a little more about how to do the actual routing with it, how to search for destinations and um, set up routes and stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.